Well, hello people, how are you tonight? Now this is going to be a different video and I'm wearing a lava mic which you have to be careful that you don't yell because it's quite strong and picks up very well so I'm just going to try and talk normally and uh, it should be clear enough Now what you see here in the middle here, this here is an old radio It's a Dabs Plus and the make is Roberts now I remember having a radio when I was a young man called Roberts it was made by Roberts and it was a playboy yeah because I thought I was a real cool playboy but it was a really well made radio now this is obviously a work radio and it's just a small one just for me it's not one of those boom boom boxes it's just for me in a room somewhere or wherever I am I can hear it but nobody else can really hear it and that's all I want so I'm going to try and attempt to try and fix this radio because what's happened to it, I mean it caught fire once and it's still working the on and off buttons see these buttons all up here these are all micro switches which wear out very quickly so it's quite a bad design really and the on and off button has worn out so I can't turn it on half the time and I can't turn it off so I'm going to try and replace the micro switch in there and see if I can get it to work and of course this aerial by the way is a newer aerial because the other one snapped off as they all do uh, this is from another radio so it didn't cost me anything for that but this is a good radio except for the micro switches which is a bad design completely but what I've done is I've bought some micro switches they're not very expensive I've got a 4 pin and 2 pin and I don't know which one's in this radio um, probably what, neither one of these will probably fit but if they don't fit I have plan B and plan B is to use one of these micro switches which I don't use take it from there and put it onto the on off button and then it should work you know it's trying to keep this old boy alive I mean you can throw it out buy a new one and the new one is another 15 pounds on top of what it was before which brings it up to about 45 pounds for a, a digital plus radio which is a bit steep and where I might be able to fix this one keep it going for a little bit longer alright so um, I'm going to take the back off and to take the back off you want four of those uh, there and I'll take the batteries out first of course uh, here's the batteries so let's just get these out of there but I won't show you me doing it um, I'll just show you when I've got the screws out okay so I've got the screws out and the back just sort of flips off there and um, what we're interested in is this button right here which is right there and there's the micro switch if you can see it right there it's a little plunger that goes on top of it and it's uh, let's see looks like it's a four pin I've never actually been inside this radio before um, so I'm going to obviously take this off here and get to it and have a look at it and I'll show you when I get in a bit closer so and stand by well that took an awful long time uh, to get this out now I've got it out and you can see now hopefully can you see the micro switches here and this is the one that's gone and here's the switch size that I've got which looks very very similar so yeah I will uh, try and replace that now and it looks to me like most of these things are put on by machines because you're not supposed to get back into them once they're put on it was uh, horrendous to get in there who knows if it's going to work when I'm finished I won't show you the me soldering this because I'll be honest I'm not the great solder person and there's plenty of videos out there to show you soldering I've got the equipment here I just will have to try and struggle with it and see if I can get it in and uh, I'm going to try and replace it because if it doesn't work I can at least get a new radio that may be the case I've got the other one finally out and it looks like it was jammed in there like it was fired in by a machine obviously and I'm afraid that the getting it out didn't 
do any good to the circuit board I put the new one in which actually it is the same size and it does sort of um, click and everything but the trouble is the board the board is in actual fact a bit got so hot to get that one out that the board has been pretty well destroyed so it was a nice uh, thought um, I guess looks like <laughs> I need a new radio then um, so yeah I won't be trying that again so for anybody who's going to try that um, even if you are very very particular with it and everything this has all been fired in I think by machines and they've been rammed in there so even if you get the solder out you can't get that out it's jammed right in there so you eventually do get it out but getting it out destroys the board so uh, yeah now I know why they've just replaced things now they made this so that you uh, shouldn't have got into it which I did anyway but it's a uh, it was a nice couple of hours screwing around and uh, getting nowhere <laughs> never mind it's Peroni time so um, I'll get myself a Peroni and uh, see how much radios are <laughs> take it easy guys but well, hello guys I thought I'd just give a quick update so I put all the radio back together again and put the batteries in and thought I'd just try the new switch I put in even though the circuit board looks pretty damaged well looks like I was successful after all Jesus what a damn guy I am eh you take it easy fellas and I got a radio back again for whatever time, who knows? Take it easy. <laughs>